G'day mate, how you doing? My name's Dave. And I'm Brad. And this is the Travelling Brothers Cigar Review. So, uh, Brad, what are we drinking tonight? Oh, just more from that lovely ABC store that I found in the Carolinas, but this one's not from the Carolinas. This is the Lone Rider. The Lone Rider. And I'm just going to read one excerpt from the bottle. because Sounds like the name of a condom, but anyway. Anyways, you're either going to like it or you're not. Telling you it has a buttery toasted oak finish just makes us sound pretentious. So I shouldn't say it's got a nice buttery finish? As long as you don't say it has a nice nut finish. (laughs) It's actually really nice. So uh, where where did you find this? I found this in the store in the the Carolinas. Hold it up there to the camera. I don't know what we'll do. We haven't got our B-roll running tonight, so... We'll take a couple pictures a little we'll bit We'll take later. a couple pictures, maybe. But it's, a, it's bottled in Indiana um, by the Lone Rider Spirits. Yeah, I, it's, I, it's really nice. I don't know how old it is. Say how old it is. Um, as old as Dave. <laughs> Age. It must be expensive then. <laughs> <laughs> Aged quite well. Um, no, it doesn't give us... Um, Kind of an age, but it tells us it's finishing stout casks, which is right up our alley. Oh, in stout casks. Oh, yeah, right. This is that's where it's getting that. That's really nice. I feel really bad because I didn't get to taste it yet. Yeah, I don't... we've got bourbon. You oh, need a cigar. Good. Yeah, what are we smoking, Dave? We are going to smoke the Southern Draw Jacob's Ladder from Southern Draw, which I always like the whole play on words that they've got happening there. Southern Draw. Southern no, drawl. So, southern what? Southern, like a southern drawl. You're not drooling. Drawl. Dr- draw. <laughs> no, no, like, um, no, no, but the play on words is southern drawl, as in suck on it, against southern drawl, the speech. Or like Lone Rider. <laughs> See what we did there? We didn't even plan that. Let me take the cedar off for you. There you go. Oh, thank you, Dave. All right. Now, you'll notice this cigar, uh, it's got a semi-closed foot on it. What? So it's got a semi-closed foot on it. So the, the foot of the cigar is closed or semi-closed. See, it's oh, just wrapped around the front. It's uncircumcised. It's, it's uncircumcised. <laughs> so it, that's, so it when you see that, Brad, from our noob videos, do what, do you, what do you do? Do you toast this one or do you stick it in, the ma- in your mouth and just light it? Stick it in your mouth? <laughs> stick it in your mouth and just light it. That's right. So the, the, when, a, when a, a manufacturer does that, they're really, um, they're really trying to get you that taste of the wrapper straight off the bat. Um, oh, wow. That's, that's earthy from the go. It's nice. It is very nice. Mm. So we'll get these started. And we'll give you an idea of what they, what they taste like. But, um, oh, here I am toasting it after I just told you not to. Mm. It's not circumcised, Dave, just sticking it in the mouth. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Oh, that is a good burn. So, I love these. These are those Zycar lighters we did. The mm, shiny mm, one. Mm. Oh, this is good. <laughs> oh, this is good off the bat. The shiny one, you can use the end of it like a mirror mm. and see how you light in the end of your cigar. It's really cool. Mm. As long as you don't look at your face, I think everything will be okay. So straight off the bat, you like it. That's our dog. Beep! That's our Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have no shame, because I don't know a lot about this one, Dave. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I took a little bit of uh, footnotes. Oh, you looked up their website? Yeah, I looked on the website. Right, okay. So, this is a Broadleaf USA wrapper, a Maduro binder, and a Nicaragua Lajero and Jalapa and Esteli um, filler. Yeah, I was going to say Lajero. It's got that little bit of pepperiness to it at oh, the moment. that's good. What is that finish? What are you getting? 
and it's good. Hard to say at the moment. I'm only right at the tip of it, and you know, the the, the first half an inch of a cigar is often kind of strong because it's, it's the way they, they they lay the leaves is the tips of the leaves. So I'm gonna. Uh, what do they say that we should be looking at here? So from my footnotes. The, my extensive research. Uh-huh. It's telling me we should be tasting black cherry, you know, cashews, yet. not yet, coffee, uh, molasses, and nice cracked black pepper. Definitely getting the black pepper at the moment. Mm. Definitely getting the black pepper at the moment. That'd be the lajero leaves. That's like the top of the plant. I'm pretty sure, and yes. uh, you'll find that it's it's a bit spicier generally when you've got a lajero. It's got that black pepper do you know around why, the sides of the tongue. Why is that, Brad? Because it's sun-grown. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> it's the part that sits in the sun, so... Right, those, so I'm wearing right. my southern draw hat tonight. Yeah, yes, southern draw. This was, uh, this was, uh, this is my wife's hat, which she absolutely adores, because she particularly likes the, um, southern draw Sharon, uh, Rose of Sharon. Mm-hmm. Which is named so it's Robert and Sharon own Southern Draw, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lovely people. Met them at a cigar show one year, and uh, Sharon and uh, and my wife Sally just talked for ages. I think about boots, about Texas they, boots. These boots are made for. We're at a cigar walking. show. That's what I'll do. These boots are made for walking. Walking over you. <laughs> I don't think you quite got all the words right, but it was a pretty good show. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> so we're at a cigar show, and the girls are talking about boots. Hmm. I mean, naturally, right? Hmm. Mm. Dave, how do you meet all these people? This randomly. I travel. Traveling Brothers Cigars. I see what you did there. Yeah. Hmm. You got that? Yep. Yeah, right. Traveling's important. So, before we get on to what we're going to... But I travel more than you do, and I don't meet anybody. Yeah, but you... you, you... You travel to little dinky die towns. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say what you do or who you do. Those for. of you out in West Virginia, out in them hills, he just dinky dude your town. <laughs> <laughs> what do I have here, Bradley? Oh, you have the winner. The winner. The winner uh, of the uh, of the the noobs cigar series that we're doing we'll keep doing that it's just we wanted to actually smoke a cigar and review a cigar tonight i love reviewing boobs we might even blend a bit because there's some notes over here i wanted to talk to you about that we were talking about the other yes, day you so have i've boobs. got some notes here and a, a and lot a, of boobs so on the ipad the, the the noobs the noobs could do with that but so what's the name of our winner kyle rose kyle from north carolina um won our thing and we're going to throw this out and we're going to send you out a lighter and a nice cutter as well Oh, wow. Look cutter. at that cutter. Yeah, it's a good cutter. It's by Vertigo. Look at that. Vertigo cutter. And uh, a lighter. It's a good touch-up lighter. And your humid, humidor it's pack. A matching lighter. Thank you for sending us your address. We will get that out in the mail to you this week. If I can talk Brad into it, there might even be something else in it. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Ooh. All right. How are you going on that cigar? Oh, it's really good. It's getting better. They, I, I just started picking up on the coffee. And um, I'm getting the fruit, I'm getting the fruity fruity, which is odd because Dominican rappers get the fruit. I'm not getting uh, uh, this is from the Nicaragua. I'm getting some weird flavors. So you see what out. I mean by not straight up on the first first uh, quarter of an inch, though, right? I'm getting a, like a mild saltiness too. Hmm. Well, it's nice so far. Let's have a chat, and we'll smoke our cigars and drink this. It's whiskey, right? You can't call it bourbon because it's been aged in. They, uh, they, they call it bourbon. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we thought we'd talk tonight because uh, we're doing the Cigar Noob series. And we thought just an extension, we'll do a review of this cigar because we just got these in at our local uh, cigar lounge. They haven't haven't dealt in Southern Draw before. I'm so glad that they did. It's about time. Like, thank what you, are thank what are you uh, Robert and Sharon, for getting these into our local lounge. Oh. Uh, so we jumped on them straight away. This ash, look at this ash. It's just, it's just a perfect burn, That's a nice isn't it? Big ash. You this is there. a perfect burn. This is a well put together They're cigar. Nice. Look at that. I mean, it's and I'm starting to get that cherry now. That you said you had this cigar a long time ago. Yeah. I have never had this cigar. This right here, 
I, I mean, we, we told you guys, we would tell you if a cigar sucked. This cigar is a going to be a regular for me. This is it's complex. I'm starting to get that cherry that we, you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's, it's fruity. Especially on the retro hair. I'm getting a lot of fruity. Especially on the retro hair. I'm not doing that. <laughs> My doctor said it's not... So anyway, don't, don't, don't go tapping your cigar. You want to you wanna leave a little bit of ash on there, right? Uh, now, is that a cigar joke? Leave? You want to leave. <laughs> but when you do get rid of it, and I'm going to... I, I, I kind of don't want to do that here, but when you do... Do it! Just let me hold this up here. You're just going to roll the edge of your cigar on the edge and let it drop in like that. Oh. And then... Look how beautiful that is. That's... Oh. That, you, can, you can pick it up. Look, we just picked it up. Look at that. It's pretty good, isn't it? These are rolled so nice. And see, so you're getting this nice little dome on the top. It's really burning beautifully. Good job, Southern Draw. Good job. Love you, it. You know who beautiful. makes... You know who rolls them for him? Is it AJ? Damn. Can't stump you on anything. It's AJ, I think. They roll out It's of made it. in the AJ factory yeah. in Esteli, Nicaragua. Yeah, we're going to go there. Hmm. Probably. One day. Hmm. Just taking a moment to enjoy the cigar. It's important to do. We I mean, have to say, just cut off Brad there for this is a very special cigar. I think I don't think I had this ring gauge when I had it last time. Uh, what is this? A 56, 60? 56. Is there 56 you say? Which is Dwayne was wrong. Yeah, he was wrong. He was wrong. He was wrong. So it's a, 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 a ring is one sixty fourth. So if you've got a sixty ring gauge cigar, you've got sixty sixty fourths of an inch. Thank you to the person who put that in the notes. I can't Thank remember their you. name. I cannot. But, but you, at the you, time, sir, that, at the time, Dwayne said that. I went, yeah, sure, metric. Oh, and then realised that sixty mil would be six centimeters, which is you're not going to get that in your mouth. <laughs> Linda Lovelace wouldn't get that in her mouth. Who's Linda Lovelace? Too young. Don't worry about it. Okay. Speaking about something, you know what? I'm going to save that for our podcast that we're going to do later. Well, let's just keep chatting here. Um, we can always cut out bits if we don't need them. And I really want to finish this cigar and tell people what I, what I think about it. I really do. What do, do you make of the cigar now? Oh, it's so good. It's good. It's good. It's a good I'm, I'm going to tell you. Ooh. Southern Draw. Rip that open, rip that, rip that open and, and, and tell us what they said about this again because I'm really enjoying this and I am getting, I thought it was going to be much more peppery than it is. The pepper came in in the first third maybe, not even the first third, but then it smoothed out really beautifully and I'm getting, I it, would just say says, fruity notes, so my, yeah. my palate's not good enough. Black, to, black cherry, cashews, coffee, molasses and crab pack. Crab pepper. Molasses, I could but get that, yeah. I want to tell you, hell. they did such a good job of not hiding the beautiful tobacco in here. Because I'm getting that earthy tobacco taste, and it, it, it feels very natural. And it's yeah. not a ton of notes in here. It is just smooth. It's simple. And I, I, I kind of, I'm, I'm telling I'm all about this. Right it's now. got a really nice clean outer wrapper, too. It's just beautifully made cigar. It's drawing perfectly. You can see the burn. I haven't touched that up at Way all. Way to go, Sharon. Way to go, Robert. Robert. We're going to do the Rose of Sharon. We, ha we are. We're going to follow up with another I've actually one. got the Rose of Sharon Gordos out there. We'll, we'll do another one of those real soon because they're, they're brilliant cigars and we might even get the girls in with us to do that one. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, at least we'll get more likes. <laughs> real talk, though, on our Instagram page. Every time we post one of the lives on there, <clears throat> 100 views. You and I, nothing. No love. No love. No love. All right, well, we're going to keep chatting while we finish this cigar off. You may see some of it, you may not, but we'll be right back. What do you think about it now? I think I'm like more than halfway through. Yeah. And the 60 ring gauge that we got on the cigar, I think, uh -huh. it's, a, I think it's a bit much. Mm. Like it's, it's getting to be a little rich. I think I, I'm... It, let me, let me come back in there, because this is important info. I think, I'm really enjoying it. I think this is a, a tasting, but you're right. It's not a beginner's cigar. It, what are you trying to say? Well, it's not a beginner's cigar. No, it's not. I, it's, 
I've had a couple cigars today. Burning beautifully. It is. If this was my second cigar of the day, or if this was the only one I was smoking today, it'd be perfect. We've been smoking it really quick too, though, because we've been doing the video and puffing on it. We really want a, a cigar like this. You want to sit down and do the puff a minute type thing and, and just let it settle in because, I mean, we're, we're hitting this cigar really hard. Yeah. And so you're getting a lot of that strength. Yeah, it's, um, it's very strong. Well, I wouldn't say it's strong nicotine wise. I'm not. No. Oh, yeah, good point. But it's bold. It's bold. Yeah. Yeah, it's bold. It's not for the faint of heart. Um, yeah, like I say, it's, it's, it's not a noob cigar. Mm -mm. But I like it. Mm -hmm. um, I reckon this would actually pair really nicely with a good strong red wine, too. Like a claret or a Shiraz. I mean, that sweetness. It's missing some... I'm missing a sweet. It's very savory. It's just very rich. It's deep. It's, you know I mean? like, it's, it's full bodied. Like, like it's, think German chocolate cake. Right, where you can only just have one slice. Yeah. And then you're I, done. Yeah, you'd be just done with everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, great job on this cigar. Seriously. Uh, you know who's going to love this is Dwayne. Oh, yeah. This would be right up his alley. Yep. yep, yep but yep. Nate... Probably not. No. Nothing. No. Nope. So if you like if you're somebody that likes the mild to medium cigars, this is not for you. Um, if, if this was in my everyday lineup or like a cigar I would keep in the humidor, like that I would smoke regularly, I'd need Oh, this around. could be a special occasion cigar for me. Exactly. Or, you know, it's not it's not one I'd smoke every day, but I'm definitely gonna have one of these a box of these in my humidor. Yeah, because I can see it's that. just really enjoyable. Like, man, look at the burn, man! I'm, and the burn. I've had, I've ashed this once, um, <clears throat> and um, I'm loving it. It's not it's not giving me any real hot spots in my mouth. You know, sometimes cigars uh, will give you a little bit of tongue burn when mm -hmm. they're strong, like it just over uh, 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 overburdens your palate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is not doing that at all. Um, it's, uh, but it is, it's, it's got that pepperiness through it, throughout it. I am getting the chocolate notes on it now. Yeah, I am too. And I think that's the richness that's hitting me that I didn't expect. Mm. I'm getting that from that. Well, I, I smoked one the other night. Uh, I think it's called a Super Lajero. <clears throat> and, um, um, excuse me while I get the frog out of my throat. You good? Thanks, buddy. I just had a frog in my throat and it crossed his legs. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Um, but this is going to be a top top shelf cigar for me. I hey, love it. Hey, Dave, take me out of your mouth. <laughs> I just said you had a frog in your throat. <laughs> oh, no. See, cigar noob failure. I was laughing and I missed it. But look at that. Pick that ash up. That's incredible. Dave's got a frog in his throat. <laughs> My wife just snuck in, worried about interrupting the video. <sighs> Kermit. Kermit was uh was was in there. Was it was in his throat. He was choking on him. He's gonna hit me. <laughs> Too much for you? <laughs> no, you used to bunch things in my throat like you. <laughs> What? Was that even English? <laughs> well, Dave, I think I had enough here. What about you? Well, I love it. I think I've got all the difference that I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to sit back and enjoy it. Um, but like I said before, it's not a beginner's cigar. I would, no, it's not, no, not, it's for not, the, a noob. not for the faint of heart. Not for a noob. It's a beautiful cigar. I will get a box of these and put it in my humidor. As why? But, um, 
But it's a sit back and relax cigar. Like I said, we've plowed through this doing the review. And so we've probably smoked it a bit too fast. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to sit back and enjoy the rest of this. Uh, it's, it's not really getting a lot stronger. I think it's just that it is a, uh, it is a full bodied cigar. It's got, it's got a lot of, it's not, I wouldn't say it's got a lot of complexity. No, it's, it it's, stands it's, on its own. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a, it's a very nice smooth cigar. The first, like I said, the first, uh, quarter of an inch, <clears throat> quite black pepper settles out to white pepper and spices and a little bit of fruitiness. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's bold and it's earthy there's a lot there's earthiness there's a lot of mm -hmm. earthiness to it um what uh, you'd if, expect if, from a, a lajero from nicaragua yeah see look I'm, I'm gonna go out there and say um if you like padome uh, not padomas padrones that have got that strong edginess to them you're gonna you're gonna find this better mm -hmm. because it's it's got that that boldness without the edginess yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that fair to say? I think that's a great assessment. Yeah, because I mean, I know you you don't shoot us in the comments, but you don't like Padron, do you? I cannot. Can I, I love Padron, so we got fifty fifty on that one. But I think yeah, if you like your bold flavors and your uh, nice deep red wines and uh, strong bourbons and whiskies, uh, hey, I wonder what this would taste like with a Laphroaig. Uh, like yeah. a scotch, like a like an Islay scotch or something. Oh, like, yeah. You know, the really peaty scotches. Yep, 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 yep. I reckon that would actually pair pretty well. I think so, too. It's, 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 a, it's a cigar that whatever you drink with, it's not going to drown it out. No. Yeah. But like I said, Dave, I think we're done here. Mm-hmm. I think that's all from me. That's all from me. Like, subscribe. We'll catch you later. Hit the bell. Don't forget and we're giving away a lot of free crap. So make sure, What's comment below. It's no crap. Free stuff? Free stuff? Free stuff.